The animation shows what happens when you shift magic wheels from standard gear to low gear. In standard mode, the small gear sector on the left locks the gearbox so that there is a one-to-one -one connection between the hand rim and the wheel. When you rotate the handle and shift to low gear or two-to-one, the smaller gear on the right engages with the larger ring gear and power is transmitted through the gearing, giving you a two-to-one ratio. This animation shows how the Magic Wheel's hypocycloidal reduction gear works. Once engaged in low gear, the small spur gear is connected to the hand rim through an eccentric crank. The spur gear is restrained from turning in the mechanism as it orbits around inside the ring gear. Because it orbits without rotating, it revolves around the inside of the large ring gear, which has twice as many teeth, creating the 2 to 1 ratio, and thus requiring half the effort to push the hand rims. The unbalanced load on this two-gear system is what makes the hill hold with override work. Each wheel is made up of over 250 precision parts. This animation shows a blow-up of all the intricate assembly that creates Magic Wheel's two-gear wheels. Each precision part is carefully inspected for accuracy, quality, and performance. They are assembled with carefully controlled processes. Every wheel is performance tested to Magic Wheel's strict quality standards, which includes a test machine run of 2,000 cycles replicating hill holding of a 230-pound person climbing a 10-degree slope. Magic Wheel's advanced technology also includes carbon fiber composite wheels and ultra-light hand rims to offset the additional weight of the centrally located gears. <laughs>